Delicious coffee. Hello everyone, put the boo spooky. Put the board here, and we are back in Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. I almost said Undertale. I got that on the brain for some reason. We're back uh, with uh, Miss Royvis here, and it is Miss Gentleman. And uh, we're going to go uh, look around because we just ended with Kareem, and that man would do anything for the pussy. Men, don't follow his example. Oh, God. She is so insane. All right, I can't remember. This is where the game starts being a little fuzzy for me on uh, what to do. Oh, look at those those hips wiggling. They don't lie. They are not lying to anybody. So we just ended with cream. I, I honestly can't remember where to go next. We'll just wander around the spooky mansion for... Phone drinking, dude! Thank you, Zelototh. Hello? Hello, Grandpa! Oh, but it can. Oh, but it can. Alright, um. Uh. Bah! Okay, let's go in here. Observatory, conservatory. Alright, what do we got here? The illustration that's still that. Okay, good. It's a lot of noises and I hate it. Hello. Grand piano. Okay. Oh. oh, I don't remember where to go, but I'm afraid of what's around every single corner forever and ever. Uh well let's see what let's uh, let's go and look and see what Alex knows. Let's see the spell list. We have recover. Ah, so much more sane now. Is this guy still watching me? Nah, he's learned his manners. That's right. That's right, you have. This game, no matter how many times I play it, no matter what I do, it's just super spooky to me. Just super spooky. Yeah. Alright, that, I, I, I don't think I can get there quite yet. This, this is not a thing anymore, you fucking devil fucking bathtub. Somebody shit fucking, oh god, gross. Hollow Grandpa, you had bowel problems. As you do, IBS Grandpa. No, I don't want to look at that anymore. <laughs> Says the voices in the background. Alright, let's move, let's move a little bit quicker here. Let's figure out what's going on. Uh, we'll meander around and we'll see what's going on. Uh, not in the super spooky dark room either. All right, we'll uh, we'll figure out what's going on. You'll join me uh, whenever I figure out what what to do next and where to go and stuff. Uh, see you then. Okay, literally the only room I didn't go into an exam, and there's this thing on the wall, which I can do now, because that's what Kareem did, and it's a little, little hidden safety safe there. So let's just go ahead and, oh god, that was, it took a lot longer than I anticipated. So we need to enchant the item with, with the, the gladius. Yeah, it's enchanted, good. Uh, okay. Oh, I gotta use. That's right. Alright, use. Use. Woo! Die! Insanity rat. What do you got? Among the pantry contains a spice jar with a scrap of paper hidden inside. Ooh, is it coriander? A firmly sealed spice glass spice jar. The faint aroma of the Arabian spices is tantalizing, emanating from it. Sentences are complete. There's a piece of paper inside. Should Alex open the jar? Yes. Ah, it's a, the lurking horror. Oh. Ha! Ah, back! 
back in the dick realm? What does old fucking thin face have to say? An eyeball mother. Tell us, lay it on us, what's your plans? Hi! Rawr! The future is yours. The light in the age of darkness has been extinguished. The pillar of flesh. You're great if she just looked at him and went, Why are you always so dramatic? The of chaos, the Chaos. Of the ancients is long dead. D E D. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. Saturn will be in his fifth house. Final incantation. You'll meet if love today. Into our world Horoscopes say. Days. The next millennium will truly usher in a new age. Your Ugh. guardians. Too now much Enya. Prepare the gate. You gotta be insane. To listen. To After the chapter page is removed, the spice jar is no longer needed. Alex discards it. Oh. Well, you're, you're a spicy sister. You could always use some more spice. Get that rat out of here! Get out of here! You son of a bitch! I don't care if this house is old. Get out! With your no feet and weird, like, t Oh, die. God, why can't I kill it? I want to be able to kill it. All right, what do we got? The lurking horror. Here we go! I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors, the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Royvas. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? Ancestors! I feverishly began to read more, eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. Perfectly sane. It has been two weeks since the death of my father, and it has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Now, I am truly alone. Aw, oh, bro. Forced to start a new life. You got your awesome awesome wig. That's great. I intend to make the mansion mine and live in it as my forefathers have to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets. That special. guy looks like he doesn't I'm get much here. sleep. I have to make them mine. Hmm. Do I wig today or do I beard today? This man is majestic. Look at him. Oh, throwing some fists. He's ready to go. All right, let's see what we got here. So we're back in the mansion. A small collection of Maximilian's medical journals, references, and reports. So he's Dr. Dr. Maximilian Royves. And he's, he's good with the bloodletting and things of that nature. Why, well, hello. Ooh. This place looks a little bit cleaner and neater and nice. Oh, hello. The servant is preoccupied with his duties. Good, I'm just finding ammo all around the house. That's great. Good, good and nice. Uh, this, is another, this is another really good chapter, I would say. Hey. Is it just me or does this music not really fit with this guy? The door to the servants' quarters is securely locked. Maximilian, however, can't help but feel uneasy. An ominous present lurks presence lurks behind that door and makes hairs on the back of his neck stand up. Does it make his wig stand up and go arry, arry, arry? It should. Look at this beautiful stained glass or a stained glass window resplendent with bright colors and exquisite workmanship. There's something odd about it though, perhaps the curious detail in the shape. Of its and its content content there's little Sun maybe an eyeball some trees that look like they're going hey, does the Sun look weird to you today actually the one on the bottom left there kind of looks like a xenomorph it really kind of does like a toothless granny xenomorph like it's just like I remember when I would bite it all right all right punch that window show it who's boss all right so there's that 
What's in here? Is this from whence I came? This is from whence I came. I'm smart and stuff, and I remember things. All right, let's go over here. Hoof it, buddy. Let's see what his stats are like. Very strong, healthy man. Not really as much into the thing, but he's very sane, very strong. Oh, what do we got here? More flintlock ammo. I don't like it. I don't like it, nor do I want it. What do you got going on? Hello? On the bedside is an open letter. Max found a letter. Let's read that letter. I oh, know. A letter written with some precise, uh, precision in longhand. Dear friend, the antiquity of which you ask is indeed the tome of the eternal darkness. Or a copy of it. At least, its secrets are still hidden from me, for I have been unable to read it, as have most scholars who have tried. Quote, it will remain within the sanctity of the mansion, for in the wrong hands it could be a powerful weapon. Peruse it if you will, but be aware of its magic. It is a harsh mistress, Aaron Royvis, or A.A. Ron Royvis. He sounds like a very to-do gentleman. That seems like something I would just have in my room. Like a bedroom, clearly the master bedroom. Never would have noticed this before. Really? Be more observant. A stone tablet carved with a strange pictogram is displayed on the mantelpiece. It's an odd conversation piece, to be sure. So I'll just take it. I got a magical codex. Well, hello! Hello, my servant. The servant mutters under his breath, not realizing the Max is nearby. He appears to be distressed at this lot in life, working all the time. Yes, I know. That one spot on the floor... So dick bags. The mirror's grim reflection returns Max's questioning gaze. His face racked to a sleepless night. I was right! And a strange gleam in his eye at the end of the growingly odd demeanor. So he's just already a piece of shit. Why would there be that is morbid? Why was there flintlock next to the look at this box, the shitter box. You fucking shit box bathroom. Alright. What do we got here? Yes! The orgy picture remains. All right, let's go downstairs. Just give a give a once over to this wonderful place. What do we got? Ah, yes, those are still there. I'm glad most things have remained. Oh, there's no there's no uh thing here. What do we got? Another open letter. Max found a letter. Let's read this one as well. A letter scrawled by a panic hand with clotted ink. Dear friend. The house has been forsaken by the ancients. I dare not enter it for fear of my mortal soul. I would suggest that you also leave. Bring the book, and it is far more potent tool than you have learned, and may well swing the balance in our favor. A. Royvis. One singular Royvis. Hello? What's your story? Bidding Maximilian a courteous good day, the servant returns to his duties. Yes, thank you, quite. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Why, hello there, Chiturga. A stone tablet sits on the countertop, seemingly out of place in the room. I feel like they just got to this point in the game, they were like peeking at the midpoint of this game, and they were like, look, just, just fucking put it in the kitchen somewhere so they can find it. Just, I don't care. Hey, the pantry. Oh. A pump handle is sitting in a barrel inside the pantry. What is it doing here? Well, I will take it because blunt weapons and things. That's a nice looking pantry. Hello, my dear. Whilst going about her duties, the servant casually remarks about the strange quality hanging in the air. Weird. The odd comment makes Maximilian feel like something is quite amiss. Why would she say that? Look, all of you need to quit being so ominous, Simonus, okay? What's up with you? Hello, my dear. Would you care to fancy the master in his quarters with his. see what is beneath my wig while I look beneath your bonnet? Whoa, I'm in a weird mood today. With a kind of smile, she asks Maximilian if he has an appetite as she is preparing a hearty meal for the evening. As in a heart made of, and meal made of hearts, more flintlock ammo just all over the place. I don't know if he's prepared or if he's just crazy. But he's perfectly sane. Look at him. Lots of all the sanity. He's perfectly sane. What do we got? Hello? The servant inquires if Maximilian requires anything of service. Well, no, sir. I'm perfectly bad. You know, not my thing. All right. Let's see what else is over yonder. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, what are you getting him a good day and returns to his duties? You mind not getting up in my grill like that? 
You don't have to be an ass kiss. There's no reason. There's nothing here. It was added on. Well then. Hey, more ammo. What do we got? The wall is decorated with a colored triangle design. Although Max has seen this particular embellishment time and time again, its significance still evades him. And then what do we got here? But okay, the illustration features a collection of strange line designs related to each other in a cyclical manner. C cyclical? Did I do that right? Yes, I did it right. Woo! I can read. There appears to be some significance to it, but it isn't particularly evident. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we are out of here. Can't go in there. So that wing of the house that's the library. Um, or the Liberabity Benari. Listen, ass kiss, get back to work. We're gonna go back in here. Because I think, if my memory serves me correctly, ah, yes. Let's see. There is something written beneath the image. When darkness spreads its wings before my master, Zelotos' greatest foe, the path to truth will be opened. Literally, the answer is right in front of us. Uh, if you look at the thing, it shows who the greatest foe is. That would be. Chaturga. If you look at the thing, I'm going to enter the secret passageway. Ooh, spooky, spooky passageway. What do we got? This appears to be a wax rubbing of some kind, carved pattern. Central point is an odd line design, a symbol of something? Perhaps. What do we got? A curled scroll of aged parchment sits atop a dusty stack of books. It's covered with a strange diagram and writing. Max has acquired the Reveal Invisible spell. Aces. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, I'm running along this episode, I think, but I don't care. Way past the point of caring. I'm having fun. Oh, I can't look at it. Let's see. What do we got? An ornamental saber. Zack Saber Jr. is displayed on the wall. I'm going to call you Zack the Saber Jr. Ah, uh, yes. Quite good. 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 Let's just go ahead and equip that right now. Oh, wham. Look at the reach on that. Yes. What else? Oh, we got a gun. Hey, a flintlock pistol. We got all that ammo. Might as well have the pistol to go with it. Yes, hello. This gothic cathedral is silhouetted against the stark light. The image is vicious. Vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every brushstroke echoes the spike of architecture. Texture imbuing by the feeling as though the building itself is a harsh position of reality. A grim picture indeed. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, but this book, perfectly fine though. We. Lying amidst the papers on the desk is a strange leather brown book. Should Max pick up the book? He should. But we're going to do that next time on Put the Bard Plays. Remember, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, give a like, or uh, leave a comment. Good, bad, or otherwise, you also don't have to do any of those things. Why not? Check me out on Twitter, uh, at PootTheBard. You can tweet me there. Also, check out my Facebook. That's Facebook.com slash PootTheBard. You can find me there as well. And uh, we're going to be going further down into the Royvis Pass. Next time on Poot the Bard Plays Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Remember, don't get any on ya.